Well, we're closing in now on the big game. Um, it's just over a week away now and excitement is certainly building across the county and anticipation of what we all hope will be Tyrone sealing their fourth All-Ireland title. It's a big ask, that goes without saying, this Dublin team seems to be a team of the ages, chasing four in a row and a sixth Sam Maguire title in eight seasons. So they have certainly established something of a dynasty and I think it's fair to say if Mickey Hart and the boys pull this off, this will probably be his biggest achievement and perhaps unquestionably the biggest achievement in the history of the county. But yes, we all remember the breakthrough success of 2003 and subsequent victories in 2005 and 2008, but I think the calibre of this particular Dublin team and what they have achieved in recent years marks them out as a special team and anyone who topples them will no doubt go down in history as a particularly brilliant team themselves. Um, tactically, Mickey and his back group here tended to think about Dublin um, put thrown ruthlessly to the sword in last year's All-Ireland semi-final and while we closed the gap in the recent Super 8 game at Healy Park there were still show that day Dublin sort of cameo moments of class and composure and again we have to remember that they're back on what is effectively home soil in front of the Hill 16 hordes on Sunday week. So we have it all to do, but you know, um, I suppose limited expectations means that players can play with a degree of freedom um, with that burden of favouritism which thrown tend to carry into every game. For once it's lifted from their shoulders, so here's hoping. It'll be a massive upset if they pull it off, but you know, um, there has been huge surprises in sport down through the years, so uh, let's hope that they can, you know, do the deeds on Sunday, September the 2nd and bring Sam McGuire back across the border.